So I didn't know this, but in Fallout 3 you could wait just by hitting like select and then just picking the time. In this game you actually have to find either a bench to sit on or a chair and you have to... It doesn't heal you by any means, but I think if you sleep it does heal you. Anyways, welcome back to Fallout 4. When we last left off we just saw the Brotherhood of Steel. Uh, I guess it was a ship that went over us. Thing is it said to follow the ship, but yeah, that thing was hella fast. There's no way. Uh, and also, some people are saying that if I don't aim for the head as much, I think I just like going for the critical hit. That's the only way to get a critical hit that is going to actually kill somebody. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and continue our quest. Right now, we're going to go discuss the findings with Sir Detective Nick Valentine. And with that being said, let's do this, guys. I love you. Thank you so much for your support. If you want a lot of parts today, just let me know. And with that being said, let's do this. So one thing I did want to do is explore this city a little bit more. Talk to residents, you know, see how it goes. What? Yes. Alright, here we go. Gonna go ahead and sell a lot of stuff. Been hoping to do this for a while. He's only gonna buy... The value for this, 31. Let's do that. Sugar bombs. I don't want to give up the water. Stuff that's really gonna... Like this right here. Doesn't really help me too much. Look at his stuff with a high value, which is basically nothing. Alright, let's I guess we'll just exit that. Oh no, hang on. Here we go. Gets rid of a few things, but it's not too much. Hey, you're the new girl, right? The new girl? Word kinda travels fast in Diamond City. What can I say? Name's Arturo Rodriguez. If you need protection, let's talk. So you know weapons, huh? Listen, I can sell you guns, swords, whatever. And they'll keep you alive for sure. But the real secret is in the mods. The little personal touches. Install a scope, expand the clip size, whatever. You spend time with your gear, and you'll have the right answer to every problem. Anyway, let's get back to you and what kind of protection you need. Sure. Let's take a look. Something for everyone. Alright, I'm about to make it rain right now. Here we go. Selling a lot of stuff. I have way too much ammunition. Uh, I'm not going to get rid of every single thing I have. But let's see. Probably going to go through. I might actually cut edit because I really want to take my time with this. And make sure I don't like sell something I'm actually going to use. So hang on one second, guys. So my biggest concern is Jangles the Moon Monkey is not worth hardly anything. So he will forever stay in my inventory. I'm not going to get rid of Kellogg's outfit. Any of Kellogg's stuff I want to keep. Uh, but stuff like Gold Watch and everything that I found, I'm getting rid of all that stuff. Uh, a lot of this is kind of useless to me now, so I'm going to sell that. I don't want to be a hoarder, I guess. Uh, circuit board. Go ahead and sell those three. We don't really... We, we just don't need that stuff. If it's not a good... Oh, wait, here's, here's a good one. Uh, let's see. Gonna keep that. I feel like we're gonna need this later on. I was gonna cut around some of this, but... So it shows what this guy has to offer. Pack of cigarettes. Let's go ahead and get that. We can reach the cap. He has 456 he can give us. And I can actually sell... I can sell all these. Now this actually might put me over. Let's see. A really close plastic knife, plastic pumpkin. I, it's like, why do I have this stuff? I've been just collecting power relay. I feel like I need these. I'm gonna sell two though. Oh, I'm just gonna sell one. I think that's that'll actually do the full transaction right there. Nice. So I just basically sold this guy a bunch of junk. Hey, Mo. You there. You need a genuine, authentic, custom-made hickory swatter. Let's see what you got. Baseball history. Right here. Baseball history. You mean .38 round. That doesn't make any sense. So you can actually get a baseball uniform. That's pretty cool. What is this? Holy shit. Look at the uh, value for that. 
Forty percent less action point cost. Wow. So he actually has, which is considered a Louisville slugger. I think that's what it's actually called. Let's go over here and talk. I want to keep the story going. This game is kind of long, so I didn't want to get too sidetracked. Here we go. Come on, Nikki. I'm just asking for your opinion. Would be a great quote. She's my client, Piper. Why don't you learn not to snoop on a woman's private affairs? Well, well, speak of the devil. You're back. And not with your son. What happened? Where do you want me to start? The part where Kellogg turned out to be working for the Institute? Or the part where he told me they have Sean? The Institute? Oh, boy. I'm sorry, friend. Truly. That makes things considerably more complicated. He ain't kidding. Heck, Nick's a synth, and even he doesn't know how to get in. No synth does. Security protocols strip those memories out. You don't know anything, Nick? I woke up in a junk pile ages ago. Just another discarded prototype. The Institute hasn't come calling since. I'm sorry. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night, and sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is, or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg? Huh. What about him? He had to have a way in and out. But am I right in thinking he's not available for a chin wag? Any other ideas, Nick? That's what I thought. He's dead. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. <laughs> Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. Let's see. I must say I had no choice. He wasn't gonna talk. Even if I had a way of bringing him alive. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. Okay, my screen keeps doing something really weird. Like, I don't know if you guys saw that, but it's like, uh, just in the rant, it like, it's just like messed up. I have no idea what's going on. Who's this Dr. Amari? I'll let her give you her life story in person. Let's stay focused. Hmm. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. What do we need? What exactly do we need, Nick? Kellogg's brain. It's a long shot, but Dr. Amari just might be able to get it jump-started. See what the old Merc knew. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this... this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. Anything else you can tell me about the memory den? It's in Good Neighbor, a little slice of trouble northeast of ways. The memory den ain't just a fancy name, it's literal. A lot of people give up all their caps just to relive the good parts of their lives. Over and over. But not us. We're gonna try to dive deep into someone else's mind. I can meet you there or we can head out together. 
Ooh, I don't know what to say. Take Nick or Tape Piper. Uh, let's see. I have no idea. Codsworth has been amazing. I have no idea what to pick right here. This I don't think this is gonna change too much. What's with the hard look? Say something. I'm gonna take Nick. Why not? It's you and me, Nick. Let's get going. Alright, send Codsworth. I'm gonna send him to the red red rocket truck stop. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. A few more steps. Uh well, you two are out. I'm gonna do some more research. I'll be at the public if you need me. And by the way, at some point, you owe me an interview. I want to hear how this whole story got started. I haven't really got to talk to Piper that much. Okay, the, other than the glitchy dialogue, I like how the story's going. Uh, you're just kind of like messed up right there. Let me see something. I got my... I guess I got some stuff back. Dangerous Minds. Talk to Dr. Amari. Investigate the Brotherhood of Steel Airship. I still want to do that, too. Let's go look at my stats really quick. I'm not sure exactly. Um, let's level up. I don't know what to use it on. I've been trying to take my time with it and see what's actually going to be. Ooh, I like the toughness thing. That's I'm finally level 9. I can do that one. Or I can do luck, helping with the critical hits that I've been struggling with. Fortune Finder. Non-automatic pistols do 20% more damage. I actually think that would be useful because I just got his weapon. But I like the damage resistant. Let's get the toughness up a little bit. Alright, nice. Ellie, always a trail to be followed. Alright, we're gonna keep going. Most folks are just looking for a hand. Even good people do crazy oh, yeah, things when they're scared. Diamond City's model. So I can command him. The good thing is he has a gun. And he can shoot and kill people. Codsworth kind of got stuck. I feel like having him on my side will actually help out. Codsworth is just chilling. Is he still leaving the area? I think he is. Read the paper, lady. Trust me. Let me hey, see what Codsworth. he has really quick before he goes. Let's trade. I'd like to trade some items. Of course. I did sell a bunch of stuff, so let me see what we got. I guess I'll actually take the bullets. So I don't weigh anything, just in case I do need that. Uh, board, bubblegum, death claw. I, now, this right here is stuff you can really make a lot on. Problem is, that guy didn't have any more. I guess any more things I could. I can't get any more, like, bottle caps from him, really, so. I can sell all this stuff. I still got the minigun. What? Alright, Codsworth is going to hang on to that. I will, whenever I find someone else... Here's all the armor. I think somebody was asking what I did with the armor. I don't really, like, need it right now, but it does weigh a bunch. Uh, 12 for that one. The arms don't weigh anything, I guess. Wait, how come the left arm weighs... Oh, the health is all diminished. That's why. So the health, as long as there's a little bit of health, it still has the weight. That doesn't make any sense. That's so weird. Oh, let's get going. I want to say thank you guys so much for all your support. This has been a great series so far. Where's Valentine at? There he is. I want to see how far we actually have to go for this quest. Um, right now we're trying to get... Can we fast travel there? Let's see. Haven't discovered that yet. Have we discovered anything around it? Yeah, let's fast travel there and then we'll actually be a lot closer. Alright, so we're actually a lot closer than I thought by fast traveling here. Uh, let's see. I think this is the right area right here. Yep. Well, the good thing is I still have that guy's weapon. Nick Valentine better catch up. Oh, that frame rate dropped though. Uh, let's see. I can't really shoot his torso. Let's try it. It really doesn't matter too much. I don't want to waste the wep- like the ammunition for this. It's gonna be scarce, I know it. I guess he's either shooting them back at there or what? 
have no idea. Let's go around. We're going for the headshots, guys. I don't care. Oh, I don't have any more. That's all I can do. Get it. Get it, Nick. No. Alright. I don't know if this is going to work or not, guys. We're like cornered over here. Let's see if he follows me if I just go this way. So you can't... Okay, we can't go that way. There's someone out there. Yes, there is. It's me, bitch. I have to go all the way around. This is a shame you can't... Uh... Oh shit, that was a headshot. Get out of here. Yeah, I don't want to waste bullets. That shit is... That did so much damage. I don't know if he was already weak or what. I'm pretty sure he was. I think... I don't know if we're supposed to go through here or if it's to the left up here. That was sweet. Shotgun shells. Oh, this guy had a lot of good stuff. I think we're good. There's a game I played a while back. I mean, a while back called uh, called Rage, and it reminds me a lot of this. Even I, I think it was actually by Bethesda. Take all the wine. I just want to see what's up here. We can actually sleep. It's getting dark, so what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna change it to where it starts to get, I guess, daylight around seven on this game. So hang on one sec. Alright guys, I think we finally made it. It was like a war zone in this area, but... I'm gonna take everything this guy has, even the sweet roll. Yeah, this is the right area. We're good. Hold up there. First time in good neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. You better back off, or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. What was that? I, I couldn't hear Damn it, it didn't work. Of all that pathetic. You hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big, bloody accidents. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Time out. Someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. Let's see what kind of guns this person has. Hey, Cleo. Every weapon you see here could be the difference between life and death, baby. He has the fat man. Who? What are you? I'm a woman, baby. Can't you tell? Oh, of course you are. It's just all those metal plates. You're a robot, right? A very womanly robot. Was that a pickup line? I've heard better. Now, were you buying anything? Let's see what you have. Murder and mayhem at a discount. How much is the fat man? That's all I want to know. He has it next to him. The fact that I could even try to steal it is ridiculous. He has it next to him. You can buy missiles. Are you kidding? These aren't going to give me any other perks. Party starter. Look at the value on that. That is ridiculous. Shotgun shells. I actually need to buy some of those. Because I don't have... I don't have any of those right now. Uh, let's do... Let's not spend all of our caps. Let's do that. There we go. Spike. Boxing glove. What is this? Dead rising all of a sudden? I like it. Tactical armor piercing pipe auto pistol. Holy shit. I think we're good. Can I just take that? Whoever this brotherhood of steel is, I'm not buying that. man. This is me we're talking about. Name's Fahrenheit. What? Let's keep searching the area. Feels like we're supposed to go all the way back here. Brotherhood of steel. Better stay out of good name. 